Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. There's one thing that has really baffled me over the last year, and that is why it's become taboo to talk about natural antibodies to COVID-19 after recovering from illness. And I really don't get it because this is basic science stuff. It's literally elementary school teaching here that you recover from an infection and you do have a degree of your own natural protection through your own antibodies. And of course, nobody wants to have an infection, but if you do get one and you recover, you will have some antibodies. And I've watched the reactions of some doctors and scientists when they're asked about this on TV shows and online shows, and they almost become stone-faced, like it's a no-go area. I do not get it. To deny the presence of some antibodies after recovering from any illness, including COVID-19, is not just a little bit flawed, it's seriously wrong. It's almost science denialism. You obviously have a degree of protection after recovering from any illness successfully. We all know this. It is basic scientific fact. And I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the situation that I'm in with regards to having antibodies to COVID-19 following recovering last year. I regularly check my own antibodies and stay tuned. I'm going to be talking about my own decision regarding the vaccine. And you can certainly get into a debate about how long antibodies last for, the timing of the vaccine and whether you even need a vaccine if you ha have high levels of circulating antibodies. Those are all legitimate scientific debates. But to deny the presence of some antibodies are after recovering, I do not get it, especially if you are measuring them and they are proven in lab tests. So let's talk about this more very soon, but I want to leave you with this basic scientific fact about vaccines. Traditionally, vaccines are designed, in fact, they are designed even now, to elicit an immune response in the recipient. That's how they work. They don't magically give you antibodies, but they make your body produce an immune response. And if we're talking about a virus, traditionally what would happen is you would have a dead or inactivated virus injected into you. Your body mounts an immune response so that next time you encounter the virus, you either have minimal symptoms or you have no symptoms whatsoever. So if that's what vaccines do, how could having the actual viral infection, being exposed to the actual virus and recovering, not give you antibodies? Think about this. This is scientific logic here. And once more, nobody wants to have the infection, but you obviously will have a degree of protection afterwards. And one can certainly debate, as we will, how long that protection lasts for, how long antibodies last for, but we cannot deny that basic fact of some degree of natural protection, at least initially after recovering from COVID-19 or any other illness. To do otherwise is not following science, guys. Thanks for listening. Dr. Sneel Dan, stay tuned. Follow me on YouTube and Facebook, MedStoic Lifestyle Medicine. We'll speak again soon.